Hey guys, welcome to the latest edition of Buy It or Burn It, where I talk to you about a stock or an ETF that I think you should buy and one that I think you should be short or buy puts on. So buy it or burn it. This week, we're going to talk about the miners and oil stocks. I'm telling you to buy XME and I'm telling you to burn the oil stocks XLE. And I'm going to show you why right now. Let's walk through the charts. All right. So everyone under the sun has been talking about the reflation trade. What is the reflation trade? What is the inflation trade? That means that dollars are becoming more abundant. It be means that things are getting more expensive. And where do we see things getting more expensive the most clearly? We see it in the price of commodities and hard assets. And that's the reason why I'm seeing XME, which is the mining ETF, is catching a huge bid. And if you look at this one year outperformance over XLE, the oil sector, I think that's only going to continue. It's only going to continue. So the thing, the, the big differentiator, you'll say, Jeff, what's the point of putting a spread on between two hard assets if you think there's reflation happening? And I'm going to give you a very simple reason for that. The underlying fundamentals of mining are much more concrete. Pardon the pun. They're much more steel ironclad, pardon the pun, than oil. The demand for metals, the demand for economic growth in mining is very strong. It's robust. It's leading to copper breaking out on all-time highs. It's breaking, it's breaking out. Steel's breaking out. Iron ore's breaking out. While oil is stuck, it's going up, but it's still well off of its highs, and it's stuck in a range. And the reason oil is stuck is because they don't have a demand boom going on in oil. It's a supply constraint. The OPEC cartel has decided they don't want to give you, they don't want to produce as much oil and they're, so they're artificially manipulating the price. Whereas with, look at this, look, let's look at like copper, for instance. Let's look at copper. This is breaking out. This thing is breaking out. And I mean, you know, that was last March. Look at this. This is five years. There's not enough copper. The demand for copper is unbelievably strong right now. Whereas if you look at oil, not so much, guys. It's breaking out, but it's not breaking out to all time. And if we go back even further, it's not happening. So... The moral of the story is if you want to play the reflation trade intelligently, but you want to cover yourself a little bit, be long the mining stocks through via XME, the ETF, and have a put by a put in the oil sector, in the oil stocks, because they haven't seen demand come back. And I'm not sure it's going to come back as quickly as people think. So LFG guys, I'll be back with another buyer to burn it in the near future. Take it easy.